Norna from Gaming Lives TV and I'm here with Nick, a cinematic artist from Telltale Games working on Jurassic Park. I understand that the story continues where the first film leaves off. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, actually, um, the season starts off about halfway through um, the first movie. So, um, like, right when stuff's going to hell, like, you know, the park's shutting down, dinosaurs are starting to break out. Um, it's kind of it starts off right there, um, and it's with a different uh, cast. It's not with uh, the characters from the film. So, okay. you know, we don't we don't have Jeff Goldblum, unfortunately. No. Uh, but um, uh, one of the main characters is uh, Jerry Harding, who uh, is the chief veterinarian on the island. Oh yeah. And he, you see him in the movie briefly. He's like with the sick triceratops. That was the, yeah. yeah. The we have yeah. a maybe a little younger, more more dashing uh, Jerry Harding, but uh, okay. uh, yeah. And so you. You, you, uh, you play as him and his daughter, um, and they're, it kind of starts, they're trying to get off the island because the, the hurricane's coming, and they're, but they don't know that things are going to hell, so it's, oh, right. okay. so they're it's kind of just like driving parallel. along and stuff kind of happens to them. Um, and yeah, also we talk about, or we focus on, um, there's that can of embryos that uh, oh, that guy was yeah. trying to sneak off the island that yeah. everyone kind of, you know, wonders. They got forgotten about. Yeah, yeah, what happened to that? It's under that pile of mud, you know. Um, and uh, you do get to play as um, Nima, who's a kind of like a bounty hunter oh, woman. They put they uh, when Nedry doesn't show up to the docks, they say, "Okay, we got to send someone in." Um, it's got a little like you know homing beacon in it, and they're gonna find it. And like, so they so go out okay. to figure out what's going on. And um, you know, nothing ever goes right in Jurassic Park, so uh, nah. it all goes to hell. And um, um, and it, it's it's an ensemble cast too, like the. You don't play as one person. You're kind of jumping around between um, different people and um, navigating through different scenarios. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So will we be seeing like, any hints about like the other characters, like what were the, what their actions have affected on the oh, island? Definitely. Will they affect our characters? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's uh, like you, you'll visit a lot of like uh, some, uh, environments that you saw from the film, like the visitor center and like where, where uh, Nedry got his jeep stuck. And um, you'll see, like, you know, Nedry's glasses on the ground, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, like in the movie when he fell down the hill, he lost his glasses, and there's a lot of, like, you know, the, the gates and everything aren't working right, and, uh, you know, no one is really aware of why, but, you know, if you've seen the films, you kind of have some insight, and you're like, oh, okay, I know what's going on here, you know, awesome. yeah. So it's good, so a lot of, like, little touches that we can look out for. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Where the hell is Nedry? We've got to get these embryos off the island. The boat's leaving any minute now. It's time for Plan B. Have you kept more to the mythology of like the films than the, the film than the book? Because I know in the book a lot different people died than mm -hmm. than died in the film. So have you sort of stuck more to the film? Um, we're we're we're, we're basically kind of going more with the film. Um, it's also interesting because like dinosaurs, like the Dilophosaurus, in in real life, they didn't they didn't spit goo. But oh. in the movie they did because it's interesting and it's cool. Yeah. Um, and so we took a lot of like the interesting things that people really like, like Velociraptors. You know, they weren't actually that big, but it's more exciting if they are. Yeah. So we took it. We, there's a lot of the, the fiction that um, you know Spielberg and everyone put into that. Um, we retain that, but when we can, we try to stay true to like the actual like dinosaur community. Like people like you know like Brontosaurus is apparently like they're ex they never existed, and it's kind of all just been a hoax and we didn't realize it until now and so we try to not put any fake stuff in that we know for sure isn't isn't legitimate um, but you know where the movie takes liberties we also do just because we want to stay true to the franchise yeah because that's one of the things I was going to ask whether you sort of like invented any dinosaurs or sort of tweaked any or whether you just stayed true um, to what, what really exists there's 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 kind of one like new dinosaur that we're introducing um, he's not really like we kind of Messed with him a little bit just to make him a little more interesting. Yeah. Um, but he's kind of like he's kind of the like the season bad guy dinosaur. Like he kind of shows up once in a while, and you're like, oh crap, I gotta deal with this guy. And um, we can't really talk about him because he's kind of like special, and I don't want to spoil too much. Okay. But um, yeah, I mean, we've done a little bit of tweaking, but I mean, we have just basically pulled, um, tried to get new dinosaurs that weren't in the film, and like um, just to you know keep it fresh. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know if, when you when you guys did Back to the Future that there were some people from the um, when you there were people from the, the original production that were involved in mm -hmm. making the game. Was this the same, or were you guys um, on your own? Back to the Future, they uh, I know they got Bob Gale. Um, we couldn't get Steven Spielberg, or like you know, like we we, we are working with Universal. Um, I mean, they're constantly looking at the game and checking it out and making sure that it's like a you know it really feels like Jurassic Park and. Um, 
but you know, I don't, I don't think we're, we have anyone from their creative team on our creative team. It's just kind of, we're just working to make sure that we're hitting what they consider, you know, a Jurassic Park, you know, experience should be. Okay. Yeah. Um, was it, were there any restrictions working within the license or could you really sort of do whatever you wanted? Um, I mean, we can do whatever we want within the Jurassic Park world. I mean, like they're in the movies, you know, you don't ever see a dinosaur get killed or like shot. Um, we can't, well, we can't like kill dinosaurs. Um, we can, you know, we can do things to them, but we can't, you know, just put a gun to their head, you know. You can run away, but you can't sort of like kill, a, you can't like kill. Right, you can't like take a knife out and like gut it or like, right. you know. No Turok stuff, no. I don't, I don't think so. Turok, no, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Sort of how we can interact and sure yeah um, uh, so I mean when people see like the demo they you know the first thing that they really like recognize is they see that like uh, quick time of any stuff where you're it's like action and you're dodging stuff and you're hitting buttons um, and that's that's yeah that's one part of the gameplay but um, something that we're trying to do is you know we're an adventure game company that's how we that's where we started yeah. um, and so we're really good at like puzzles and stuff so we we wanted to like like in heavy rain it's, you know, people compare it to Heavy Rain, but like, the thing that, that for me was missing from Heavy Rain is, in that game you're just, you're flipping pages, you're just progressing through the story and you're kind of just like, hit A, like, I found a clue, I know what to do now. And in our game we actually, like, kind of empower the player a little more to solve the problem instead of just, you know, flip the page. So there are, there's more puzzly stuff, like the first part of that demo, you're trying to, like, get a trike back in its paddock and, uh, you know, you have to, use different characters and different things in the environment to uh, solve problems and they're normally pretty contained there's not a lot of like I have to go to this environment now and like oh I gotta backtrack all the way you know to that other room and then now I gotta pull that switch you know it's 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 pretty contained because um, we want it to be a pretty directed experience and um, you shouldn't ever really get stuck but you should feel like you're engaged and uh, you know have you're actually involved in the world and doing things yeah. Um, one of the things I was say, it seems to be more of an action-oriented game. Um, mm -hmm. Was there? How did you sort of balance the puzzles so you didn't kill the pace at all with the action? Well, I mean, yeah, it's a good question. I mean, it's it's just kind of, you know, a lot of iteration, just just playing and figuring out when, you know, okay, I've been dealing with these dinosaurs. It's been really crazy. Like we need to kind of bring it back, and and we try to keep attention. It's never like, I'm just hanging out, like eating a donut. You know, like yeah. it's kind of there's always some sort of, like problem and tension in the air that you kind of, you know, you feel like something's around the corner, like, you know, I gotta, I gotta get through this because there's a dinosaur behind me, you know, <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> so, um, you know, it's just, just honestly, just, you know, having good designers and, and being, you know, pretty experienced with, like, how to pace a game and, you know, it's just comes down to having talented people and, and, and knowing, you know, hoping we know what's right and figuring it out. What's in there? Apart from the release lever for the gate, just maintenance stuff. Uh, spools of cable for fence repairs, work boots, snow shovels. Snow shovels? What for? Well, it's not for shoveling snow. Oh, ew. In the game, we see the um, we actually saw a death. Um, mm -hmm. Was this sort of like a new thing? Because you've not really done player deaths before. And... Yeah, you know, it's the first time we're letting the player die. Um, but you know, we don't want it to completely like discourage people, and you know, like. All the deaths in this game are actually really fun. I mean, that's what a lot of the uh, enjoyment actually I think is derived from dying, which is kind of weird. But, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of people play this game and just like, they'll play through it and just be like, oh, you know what, I just want to die first because this is, you know, I'm sure it's going to be fine. And like, we, we, we don't like put you back like, you know, 15 minutes. We like, if you die at something, we just give you another shot at it. You know, it's not like, you, it's, you're not discouraged from dying. Um, and also, like, we have a, uh, a system in place where if you keep dying on the same thing, we start to make it a little easier for you just because we don't want anyone to get stuck. I mean, it's 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 a pretty directed, like, linear experience, and we don't want you just looking at the same cutscene over and over and over again. So uh, we try to keep keep it easy as, if, if it's too hard. There's no there's no settings, like, you can't make, you can't play the game on easy. So we just kind of give it one solid pass at making it a decent difficulty, and then if it's too hard for someone, we start to dial it down. So. So I noticed that in, even with games like Amnesia, which are like brutal, um, mm -hmm. they, they seem to dial the difficulty down if you're just getting stuck, because I think yeah. they don't want people walking away from the game. Exactly, just... yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, and I think hopefully the combination of uh, 
making it easier, giving it, you know, pretty quick respawns and like, you know, the fact that the deaths are just so much fun to watch. I think people, it shouldn't have too much, you know, problem. <laughs> so presumably it's still sort of like a, around a family rating, but... Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it should be, you know, it's, the I think the movie's rated PG-13, that's what our game is, so, yeah. I think there's, I don't, a lot of people get eaten, but I don't think there's a whole lot of blood. So I don't, I don't think you see like guts and stuff flying out. Right, so it's just people getting crushed. It's just and... people like getting chomped and like you know you don't you don't see like their leg rip open or something. Oh, but okay. uh, but it, I mean they're still pretty brutal. I and mean, when you know it's I mean as you saw you got like skewered by a uh, triceratops and then eaten by a T-Rex all in one blow. So it's uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun like exploring the different deaths. I oh presume. yeah. I mean that's. That's, I mean, half that fun making this game was just sitting in a room, just being like, "All right, how are we gonna kill the player here?" You know. <laughs> so. Awesome. So it's like, like, like a myriad of different ways. Oh yeah, I mean, we, different dinosaurs, different scenarios. I mean, you're just gonna bunch of different deaths, you know. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What's the sort of minimum spec of the game at all um, for the PC? Um, well, you know, it's it's if for people who've played our games before that uh, on PC, they sh should have no problem. I mean, we uh, normally build our ga our our games pretty scalable. Um, so, like, if you have a really nice machine, we, you can get our game looking really good with all the different effects and stuff. Um, but uh, we have like a graphic setting one through nine. So if if it's not working, you can scale it down. And uh, most machines run this stuff. It's it's pretty. It works pretty well on, on a, a variety of machines. Will we be seeing it delivered through Steam, or is it just going to be sort of yeah. from Telltale? Yeah, um, I mean, basically, uh, as with all of our PC releases, we uh, do it through Steam, and uh, we have PC, Mac, and um, we don't really have much to talk about as far as like console versions go. But I mean, all our games end up on consoles. I don't, I, I don't know if it's going to be a simultaneous launch, but um, you're going to be able to get it on basically any platform you want eventually. I just don't know the dates. Yeah, yeah. Will you be leaving open for a sequel or a series? Because I think there's going to be a lot of scope. Oh, for sure. I mean, like, you know, we we like making these games, and if people like our games, then we want to make more. So, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I don't see well, a reason to not have a sequel. I, I mean, you know, we're only, right now we're in the production on the first episode still, so uh, we have the entire season arc uh, laid out, but, um, yeah, I don't, you can't really say yeah, too much yeah, more. Yeah. Know. <laughs> so yeah. It's also, I was going to ask to, um, how linear is the story because if, obviously you have to be careful mapping it out for the episodes. But um, will player choices affect anything? Will we be seeing different endings? Or? Um, yeah, there aren't any different endings. It's it's a pretty linear experience. Um, there are like points in the game where like in like certain quick time events where you know it's like you can go left or right. Um, it, it it never really like branches and just goes a completely different direction. But. Um, it, it kind of always like branches and then like comes back and you know so there's a little bit of uh, choice as far as like how you interact with the world but um, it is it's a very linear story. Yeah. Hey, it sounds great and it looks fantastic awesome, as well. Yeah, so you. kind well, of great. For, really looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks for so. checking it out. And thanks very much for speaking to us. Definitely. is Nedry. We've got to get these embryos off the island. The boat's leaving any minute now. It's time for plan B. This isn't supposed to happen. What the hell kind of zoo is this? Ten years of research. Millions invested. It's the next wonder of the world.